How many pips does gold move in a day? Hello, this is Igor from FX Sigur YouTube channel and today we'll try to learn how to properly put stop loss and target when you trade gold and what is the most important thing we need to learn what is a pip in a gold first usually one pip increment in gold is 0.01 so if the gold price is for example 1800 then one pip increment will be 1800.01 so very easy to calculate as a trader one pip in gold is one cent for one micro lot position size so if you want to learn more about position size gold you will have a link just about this video and you can go and watch our previous video about this topic but today we'll talk about gold volatility and something that's very very important for every single trader that trade gold and i will describe you why this very important first you know if you trade uh, euro dollar british pound dollar you know that a stop loss can be 100 pips by average around 100 pips because during the one day euro dollar can go up or down 100 pip and if you're a swing trader you will have around 100 pips stop loss if you are if you are for example a daily trader and you trade very very often couple hours usually we have a quarter of something like 25 percent of daily average true range and it will be around 25 pips for example but you need to know how to trade gold so here here is the very very important stats so gold moved around 2000 to 3000 pips on average in the last decade just in this year 2022 gold range from approximately 2450 pips and the average moving range for the gold in 2022 was 2450 pips from 729 to 9600 pips so just look this chart and you can see the february month of this year you can see the increased volatility it is the volatility like i said before around 9000 pips per month but this is the something strong extremum it is because the war in the russian ukraine and it's something that changed the market a lot and this is extremum for this year but by average you need to to know that uh, during the day you can see around 2000 to 3000 pips and this is very important why if you're a string trader for example you will uh, you will use 2,000, 3,000 pips, for example, 4,000 pips as a stop loss, sometimes a little bit more if you see that it's huge volatility in the market. But if you are a daily trader, you will maybe use uh, 500, 600, 700 pips. So this is important to know, to, to feel the market, because if you feel the market, if you know what is the average volatility, you can use that as advantage in trading. I will give you another statistical important thing about gold and and, and gold trading first um, you know that uh, during the asia session uh, we have a, a little bit quiet volatility market but uh, during the uh, moment when the euro session and u.s session overlap around the two three four hours gmt we have huge increase number of pips and you can see that sometimes around two, three, or four hours afternoon, that we can have more than a eight hundred pips gold moving volatility, and this can be very, 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 very volatile market in these moments. And because of that, you need to um, a little bit. Um, a little bit increase your stop loss and your targets because uh, you can be uh, wash up very very fast in your trading as you know sometimes uh, in just a couple minutes you can lose your some your trade and this this is not you will not feel comfortable in that moment so my suggestion is that during the two three four hours after the 
after the afternoon, uh, in GMT time, or in the time when US market and uh, Euro market overlap. In that moment, just increase your stop loss. Try to put at least 1,000 pips, at least 1,000 pips stop loss, because you can be washed up very, very fast. You can, you can lose some trades just because the volatility, not just because um, the missing trend. And uh, another very, very important chart is if you are swing, if you're a swing trader, you need to know that um, almost every single day is around uh, 2,500 pips. And uh, the Thursday is the day when the market is most volatile, that maybe 100, 200 pips more by average will be bigger volatility during the Thursday. But the most important thing is try to put a stop loss above 2500 pips for gold when you trade gold during the during the, um, the days because uh, this is the average number of pips uh, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc. So this is very smart to have to have a decent decent stop loss. Uh, wider, uh, I suggest always wider stop loss if you're a trader and wider targets. But because of, I am not day trader, I, I I'm more swinger position trader. But nevertheless. I just want to point out to know and to remember these two charts. Like I said, this one about uh, daily moving average and this one about hourly moving average to see how how gold reacts in the market. So this is it. I wish you a great day and bye bye.